CP has. Well, let's start, let's start with you. Since, since you volunteered, <laughs> let's start with your lineup here. And as we present it to the fans, we got JD starting five, Deuce McBride, Quentin Grimes, RJ at the three, Julius, Mitch, Bench, IQ, Fortier, Reddish, OB, and Sims. Uh, I mean, listen, I, I think it's unlikely that he's going to go from what just happened to going with Deuce. But my thinking is, you know, what do we do to kind of have Tibbs a little bit happy, right? In the sense of how do we create an environment for him to still feel that he can be competitive? And in that, I'm giving you Deuce at the starting five. Okay. Um, with that, you have a backcourt that is defensive minded and and that should go along with with his his competitive um, energy. So I'm going I'm going with that over quickly. And the reason for me is I just I just like quickly off the bench as a scorer, putting him in that spotlight as the starting point guard to me um, is is. I just don't see that as a as an option in the future. Um, and with McBride, listen, why not? Like, he's going to give you more defense than Kemba. He's going to give you more defense than Burks. Um, he's going to play hard. You know, Tibbs talks a lot about playing hard, a lot about energy. McBride, at the very least, even if he doesn't know where he's going to be at, he doesn't know how to rotate, blah, blah, blah. But you're going to get something that some other players on this team have not been able to give you. And off the bench, listen, I was back and forth between starting Cam and putting Grimes at the one with RJ at the two and Cam at the three. In the end, I decided to go Cam Reddish off the bench because if you look at that five, Reddish is the guy that gives you the shot creation. This is an opportunity for you to create an environment with Reddish, give him two shooters in Fournier and quickly, give him an athletic guys in Obi and Sims, and just let Reddish create. Let's see how he responds to being a focal point off the bench. Put him in that, in that mindset of creating, of scoring, of being aggressive, and let's see how he responds to that. We got Alex up next. <laughs> Alex is starting five, IQ. Quentin Grimes at the two, RJ at the three, Julius, Mitch, Bench, Rose Hive stand up, McBride at the two, Cam at the three, OB, and Jericho Sims. All right, so my thought process here is that we're going to give the promotion to Emmanuel quickly. I think if you put Deuce McBride over him, I think just aesthetically, I think that's a lot of red flags for a guy who's also been here. So I don't think I can see Tibbs just putting although we did we have seen him do it but i would like to see quickly get that shot and i think for quickly if you're already going to have two guys especially with rj barrett and julius randall who like to go downhill that alleviates quickly's inability to go downhill and kind of opens him up to circle around from the perimeter so it gives him more of a three-point his three-point shot opportunity again you know that's what De Derek rose would help him do on that second unit just by attacking the paint relentlessly and if you have those two guys who can do it and find a manual quickly you can get a shot set and uh, just knock him down. Just same thing with Quentin Grimes. So you're giving two guys who are going to be bullies in the paint, and that's why you also have Grimes out there as another knockdown shooter. And I think him and Quick will work well together. I think both of them got good defensive intensity to guard guys on the perimeter as well. They're also just relentless at that when it comes to that play style. And then you're going to have Mitch up there as your, as your big man, right? Because he can guard the pick and roll, a good rim protector. But I think this rotation, I think there's a really good balance between guys who can shoot from the perimeter even though quickly's had a down year i think he does shoot well i'm you know even looking at numbers and even though it hasn't been grimes if you look at a lineup with randall robinson barrett quickly and fournier they've done that for 10 games it's it's been they've won five and lost five but the net rate the offensive rating is 118.6 good scoring output so i think if you put uh grimes in there who can also knock down the three ball I think you're still going to get quite a similar output and they still have a net rating of 3.1. I think that could still transfer if you have this type of rotation in there. So that's what I'm looking from them. And then from the bench, I I see that JD want to leave my guy out, Derek Rose. Mm. All right. So it's okay. It's Rose okay. Hive. We, 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 Rose get, Hive. we can get up. back to that, but I, I'll stand for the Rose Hive or I got the jersey back there as well. You're going to have some veteran leadership, as JD said. Look, man, you need some sort of veteran out there to help guide everybody. And who else but Derek Rose? We don't. 
I love Taj, but you, you, I want Sims out there to get some minutes, start developing in a setter, okay? Obi Toppin, you know what we need out of him. He gives you that energy off the bench as well. Good rim runner, uh, great out in transition. That's what you need out of Toppin. Cam Reddish, we, he's just a tantalizing wing. You know, we keep talking about it on this show. He just gives you an offensive dimension that you don't have on this team. He's long, which is good for defensive purposes as well. And then working right next to Rose, he could, Rose could have Deuce McBride. You can groom him. Rose could grind McBride as he was doing for Manuel quickly last season. And I think they both can do the same thing. Similar, similar style. McBride has a good jumper. You know, get him out there uh, working off ball as well. Still working on ball as well. But Derek Rose can kind of groom him. Just weed that offense too. That way these kids who are out there aren't necessarily lost. They have some sort of veteran at the point guard position that can guide them and get them in the right uh and get them in the right positions, you know. Also, let me let me respond real quickly to the Derrick Rose thing because I did miss him. I didn't have Derrick Rose in my rotation because I'm going to be consistent with what I said a few months ago when I got tomatoes and I said at that point that it's just time to move on, get him to a contender. Um, if we're going to pivot, I just want to pivot fully. Also, the relationship with Tibbs and Rose, I just think if I put Rose in my lineup, Tibbs is going to overplay him and it's just going to get away from what I want to accomplish with, with this young roster. I swear, if you have... You know, sounds like the music changed for this If one, you have for Kemba in your starting <laughs> five, bro, if you go with the same status quo, I might have to order a CA8 hat myself. All right, here here's where I'm going, man. Since you guys are you, you guys want to keep Burks out of this thing, out of this potential turnaround, okay, you do so at your own peril. Because once Rose comes back, things could change. But for right now, I'm leaving him out of my lineup. I'm leaving him out of my rotation. Here's where I'm going. Mm. I'm going with IQ right now. Why? The Kemba experiment, scrap. By default, he's out of there, okay? McBride and IQ. Right now, I've seen, even though it hasn't been great, it's been up and down. This is the hardest position to come in and be an impact right away. We know quickly is probably more of a six man, more of a combo. We're talking about for right now. We have 20 something games left. We don't know the status of Rose. I don't even think he, he's sprinting right now. You put it quickly in at the point. More offensive chemistry with RJ and Julius. Offense picks up. You put him out there with 48. Can't push the pace. Has shown some playmaking ability. And he's going to give you that spark. He's going to provide you that energy. Now, if we're going to be running the offense, whether it's through Julius or through RJ, then you're getting quickly more in an off-ball position anyway. And maybe that's a better spot for him than having to run an offense again this is a band-aid situation this is not for the future this is for right now to finish the season i'm going with quickly at the point we don't know if mcbride's a point guard either let's keep it real miles mcbride was drafted 36 in the draft why he could shoot well he defends at, at damn near an elite level so why was miles mcbride drafted so late because they did not know his fit in the league and part of that is, can he run an offense? Can he control a tempo? Can he push and transition? Those things are unclear. That is why you haven't seen McBride right now. And that was Tibbs' pick in the draft. So I'm, I'm balancing with a little fantasy hoops and a little realism. I'm, 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 I'm rocking part CAA TV, part Knicks fan TV. I'm sprinkling in a little bit of both. <laughs> I took out Burks. But even though he's going to be in there, trust and believe, Tibbs ain't taking him out that lineup. But I'm taking him out just for the sake of tonight. So I'm going quickly. RJ, Fournier's in there. Shooting 41% from three. He's been shooting a lot better. That, that was your prize acquisition. He's not going anywhere. Business is business. Fournier is sticking around, at least for the rest of the season. And I don't see him starting. And and look, he could, he could very well not finish games, right? We're just talking about starting lineup. Fournier could very well not finish games. Maybe it's Cam finishing games. Maybe it's Quentin Grimes finishing games. But to start the game, Fournier's locked in. Julius Mitch locked in. Now off the bench, until Rose comes back, now I'm going to give McBride an extended look as a backup. I'm rocking my CAA TV. I'm in, the, I'm in the mind of Tom Thibodeau like Professor X. 
he wants to put McBride out there against the backups in a position where he can succeed so now you're gonna have him you're gonna have Grimes Cam I'm bringing Obi in there and I'm going with Jericho I'm telling Nerlens Noel I'm changing the address of Madison Square Garden don't come back Taj forget about it you're gonna be holding the clipboard coach's assistant I'm going with Jericho at the five I like that I'm getting some defense I'm getting some shooting off the bench I'm getting some energy it's balanced my, my lineup is balanced and I'm leaving Burks off there which, which which would endear me with the fans so I'm doing a little bit of everything even though Burks is likely not leaving that lineup this is my lineup <laughs>